So now that we've completed the website, all of the source code, we've got it looking and acting the way that we want it to present. Uh, so we've got our navigation bar and I should actually move this one back to the top because I don't want it fixed at the bottom. Uh, so let's take care of that. And it's as easy as just removing that class and updating where the navigation bar actually presents itself. Uh, so we can see that everything is working the way that we want it to. And now we can build out the other additional pages because this website actually has four pages. So this was our home page. And on the additional pages, we want to get rid of the welcome to my website. We don't want to present this. We might have something else that we want to present in place. But uh, for now, we're just going to completely remove that. And looking at our design, so our current website still matches our layout, original layout that we had laid out and how we want it to present our website. So let's go back into our code and now in order to create the additional pages, so I'm going to just hide where I'm going to keep that, um, and in order to create the additional pages, what I usually do is I just create the pages like this. So we got to also make sure that we have all of uh, the page links in there. So I'm going to just simply save this as about.html and from here I'm going to get rid of this content, this contain, this top header container. So I can just simply remove that out and then I can rename this about us. And then here's where I can present content if I want within the about section. And we can keep the ads the same. Uh, we can bring them in dynamically. Uh, so there's a number of different options there. So now whenever I click to about, we can see that we've got completely different style layout for our website. And then now we can do the same thing for products. So save as, and just gonna check to make sure that I get the file name correct. So it's products with a lowercase p. So now I can save about as products.html. And we can uh, then customize and fill out our website as needed. So apply the appropriate uh, syntax and code and now just lastly our contact so save as and I'm going to save this as contact.html and I'm going to update this to say contact and now when I refresh it so I've got all of my pages everything is built a uh, fully responsive website from scratch and now I can begin to add in images if I want and additional content and so on so this is all uh, available now within my website build. So I encourage you also to take a look around the source code, uh, make some updates, adjustments as needed, and build out your own version of this website. Uh, fully responsive mobile menu, and you can also choose which menu you want to present to your visitors and how you want to present that menu. So we laid out a number of different options for the navigation menu because this is still the most crucial part of designing your website because you want visitors from any size screen to be able to come in and activate and interact with your website as designed. I'm also going to include the resources and links that I've used within this course. So you can check it out for yourself. You can check out what Bootstrap has to offer. There's quite a bit of options here uh, to develop and build websites quickly, just utilizing these Bootstrap libraries and bringing them into your source code. And you can also create your own versions uh, using dummy text, placeholders, uh, if needed to hold places and spacing for your website content and then you can create your own designs uh, using Gliffy.com and there's a number of different other options and if you're looking for an editor uh, Brackets is available as well so Brackets.io. So I am going to include all the links and resources used within this course.